Proper slope for wheelchair ramps. Hey there, welcome to our video discussion on the minimum and maximum slope required for a proper wheelchair ramp. Today, we'll be exploring the important factors to consider when designing and constructing wheelchair ramps to ensure accessibility and safety for individuals using wheelchairs. Let's get started. What is the minimum slope for a wheelchair ramp? When it comes to the minimum slope for a wheelchair ramp, it's crucial to maintain a balance between accessibility and safety. According to the guidelines provided by the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, the minimum slope for a wheelchair ramp is 112. This means that for every 12 inches or one foot of horizontal length, the ramp should rise by no more than one inch in height. This gentle slope ensures that wheelchair users can easily and comfortably navigate the ramp without excessive effort or risk of tipping over. What is the maximum slope for a wheelchair ramp? While the minimum slope is important for accessibility, it's equally essential to consider the maximum slope to ensure safety. The ADA guidelines also define the maximum slope for a wheelchair ramp, which is 120. In other words, the ramp should not exceed a 5% incline. This limitation prevents the ramp from being too steep, reducing the risk of accidents and making it manageable for wheelchair users to ascend and descend without undue strain. Factors to consider for proper ramp design. Now that we know the minimum and maximum slopes, let's delve into some additional factors that need to be considered when designing a proper wheelchair ramp. 3.1 length and space constraints, it's essential to consider the available space and the required ramp length to meet the specified slopes. In some cases, space limitations may restrict the overall ramp length, which can affect the slope. However, it's important to strive for the minimum slope of 112 whenever possible. 3.2 landings and transitions to ensure safety and convenience, it's crucial to incorporate landings and smooth transitions into the ramp design. Landings provide resting areas for wheelchair users and allow for changes in direction. The ADA recommends that landings should have a minimum size of 60 inches by 60 inches to accommodate wheelchair maneuverability. 3.3 handrails and edge protection handrails are an important feature of wheelchair ramps, offering stability and support. According to ADA guidelines, ramps with a rise greater than 6 inches or a horizontal projection greater than 72 inches should have handrails on both sides. Additionally, edge protection is necessary to prevent wheelchair wheels from accidentally rolling off the ramp. In conclusion, the minimum slope required for a proper wheelchair ramp is 112, ensuring accessibility for wheelchair users, while the maximum slope should not exceed 120, prioritizing safety. It's crucial to consider factors such as length, space constraints, landings, transitions, handrails, and edge protection during the design and construction process. By adhering to these guidelines, we can create wheelchair ramps that promote inclusivity and allow individuals with mobility challenges to navigate their surroundings with ease. Thank you for watching, and we hope this information has been helpful to you.